What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay and welcome back to the Danger Zone and we are here once again to review Archer Season 11 and we are finally here at the finale, Episode 8, Cold Fusion. Now as per usual in my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the event of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, and then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going to spoil the territory. You have been warned. Okay, so this episode is all about Archer and the team heading over to Antarctica to basically deal with this crisis of an illegal bomb, nuclear weapon, hydrogen bomb I guess is more appropriate, uh, that is being smuggled through the Arctic and they're trying to figure out like, you know, where it could be, who has it, and then, you know, as they're investigating this, it ends up turning into a murder mystery, a closed door whodunit, as Archer puts it. And I'm not gonna lie, the first chunk of this episode, maybe it's because I've been playing a lot of Among Us on Twitch with my friends. A little bit of a shameless plug over my Twitch channel. Uh, I play Among Us every Sunday with my friends, and uh, one of the maps we tried was the ice map. We all hated it because we're used to the spaceship. But anyway, uh, this first section of the episode reminded me a lot of Among Us. It was basically just like, all right, what task were you doing, uh, various members of the research crew? Okay, you're kind of sus. I definitely don't think you did it. You're cleared. You were clearly doing tasks. Okay, it's definitely you, Rex. You killed, you know, these two people. And, you know, plot twist it did turn out to be Rex, but Rex only did that because he found out that uh, the person he killed uh, was actually in cahoots with uh, the dude who stole the bomb. Um, and the person he was with, who also discovered this dude, uh, ended up being killed as well. So, essentially, we find out that this uh, rich, you know, dude who basically funded the entire, like, research expedition, uh, he's basically a Bond villain. He has this weird, oddly specific plan to, um, you know... Detonate the bomb on this uh, particular section of the ice caps in order to melt uh, the ice caps enough to significantly raise the sea level so that he can make a ton of money uh, manufacturing floating cities. Yeah, this sounds like a, you know, wacky Saturday morning cartoon slash Bond villain plot. And you know what? It's perfect for Archer. Honestly, I loved it. And so they end up having a big showdown uh, with the villain group. Well, before that, we have Cheryl and Mallory um, on their own subplot because Mallory is, of course, looking for liquor because she's like, there's no way these idiots would have prepared for an apocalypse without hiding a stash of the good stuff. And so they go searching on you know, the rich dude sub, because obviously the rich dude is going to have the alcohol. And so, you know, they sneak and uh, casually stab their way through the bad guys. They end up getting caught, but, um, you know, Mallory and Cheryl uh, make their way through and they inform the rest of the team. And that's how they get informed. They, they get prepared to take down the enemy crew of, you know, this rich Bond villain-esque dude. So, they combine moonshine, pickle juice, and explosives to make, like, you know, these uh, brine bombs, as Archer puts it. And uh, basically, you know, with the little bit of armaments they have, they go up against the enemy force. And uh, it seems like they're going to win, but the bad guy is getting away. And so Archer does what Archer does, and he dives in you know, without really thinking, and uh, prepares to put a bomb in the submarine to, of course, stop the bad guy from getting away. Now, of course, you know, Lana's grad school rival and Lana both warn him, if you do that, you know, your body's going to stop working after 30 seconds. There's no way you're going to survive, you idiot. Don't just rush in. But he does it anyway, because he's Archer. And because he's Archer, and not only is he the main protagonist, 
uh, and title character, but he is just insanely lucky like that. He manages to pull through, and he continuously, all throughout the fight, and, you know, in his, like, seconds of unconsciousness, end up having these, like, coma glitches, these little flashes back to the different coma characters, and Krieger, like, well, I mean, not Krieger exactly, Crackers, the parrot version of Krieger from Danger Island, actually manages to save Archer. Now, Archer gets pulled out and reprimanded by Lana and the rest of the crew. Um, however, that's when Archer actually drops a bomb on all of them. Because, you know, they're all bitching and complaining about, like, you know, you did this to us, you know, you know, everybody's backsliding, Pam is back to being a horny mess, well, Cheryl's always going to be Cheryl, and Mallory's always going to be Mallory. But Lana's back to just snapping at people and being a bitch for no reason. And Cyril, uh, I said Cyril, Cyril is back to being, you know, a whiny little bitch. And he's, like, eating again and, like, kind of, you know, losing all the shape that he got into, you know, all the hard work he put into being a good field agent because Archer makes him feel insecure again. Uh, but then Archer, he's like, okay, look, first off, how many times since I've been a coma have you people saved the world? And then they go dead silent. He goes, yeah, I take your dead silence as a zero times. Second of all, did you guys ever think that maybe you need me because you want an excuse to be your worst possible selves? And that's when everybody has like a oh shit type moment. Of course, that's interrupted by the bad guy thinking he can get away and he gets all excited he gets in his bad guy helicopter but you know there's no helipad and that ice is fragile and unstable and so he ends up sinking through and of course archer's joke from the beginning of the episode comes back i guess it's not everything is <laughs> always a helipad god i love how this show is structured especially around humor and jokes this whole episode was one full circle punchline and I love it, but there's also some interesting like character development. You know, everybody's blaming Archer and I'm not gonna lie, Archer has definitely been more of an asshole than usual uh, this season, but you know, they don't have to backslide, right? This is their choice. This is, uh, they are choosing to act this way. And you know, I'm definitely upset with Archer with how he treats Cyril because I feel like you know, and I've said this pretty much every week that I've covered Archer episodes. Cyril has been treated like shit, and he does not deserve that. He's worked hard to prove himself as an agent. But at the same time, Cyril, like, it's been like three years, man. You should have built up more confidence than that. If Archer, this one dude, can really set you back that far, maybe you need to start working on yourself again. Like, work on yourself a little bit more, buddy. Like, you still got a lot to go. You know, self-actualization is a very long and arduous process, and Cyril just definitely needs to get there. Uh, Lana has her own issues that she needs to work through, and I'm not saying that Lana and Archer should get back together, uh, but uh, she definitely has some unresolved uh, baggage with Archer, and I think she always will. Uh, but, you know, she definitely needs to address that if she wants to move on and be a better person. So... There's that. I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, where they take the characters in Season 8. If they're actually going to address this uh, bit of uh, enlightenment that Archer has dropped on them at the end there. Uh, I'm glad that it did get renewed for another season because uh, this season was great. It was definitely a return to form for me. Not only were they, we back in ISIS doing spy stuff, but also we got fresh new character dynamics. We got to see AJ again. We got to, you know... You get introduced to new characters, new running jokes, new dynamics like, you know, the one um, involved with Barry. And, of course, that little uh, cliffhanger at the end where, you know, of course, Barry transferred his consciousness into another Barry bot. And that could have uh, possibly corrupted his programming. Hopefully, we're going to follow up on that. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to see more AJ, like I said. Um, I don't know if Archer's ever going to get another valet after the whole Alistair saga. But uh, I am interested to see kind of how Archer lives his life now that, you know, he's gotten more of a grip uh, to uh, being back in the field again. So uh, definitely looking forward to season 12. Uh, I cannot wait for it. Of course, 
every year the animation just keeps getting better and better uh, i really love this season but let me know what you guys thought about this episode as well as the season overall in the comments down below as always don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it and if you like what i do here and you want to see more from me be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video in the outro card i will leave linked a, a review of last week's archer episode that i did caught napping the episode where we got to see aj and i will leave linked a video youtube series algorithm things you might like which i hope you do but until next time guys this is jay from tv time with jay and i will see you guys in archer season 12 but until then you may now exit the danger zone peace <music>